Hello guys and today we are doing a Photoshop tutorial on the liquefying tool. This is the picture I will be doing. And yeah, so first you head over to the filters and liquefy. Yep, that. Now, it is quite a good tool to be fair. I discovered it a couple days ago. And yeah, this is the smudge one. You can literally just pull stuff around and make it look more distorted. This one here just recovers it all in case you make a mistake or you think that nah, it doesn't look good. Alright, this one, this one here shrinks stuff. It is, it's probably one of the better tools. If you like photoshopping, I don't know, people just as a joke or something, it's great. And the uh, other one about news now, it instead of shrinks does the opposite, it expands stuff. So, as you see here, I'm just expanding this guy's mouth and eyes as a bit of fun nothing against them yeah and uh, this one I don't, I don't know what I subscribe it it's just sort of random crap it does but no it's, it's quite fun to just photoshop people really this is just a great tool. Yep, and yeah, I'll just use all those tools again. See, I, I, what I tend to do is use the smudge tool just to, I don't know, just so you're pushing in like I am here. I do it, and then, I don't know, it's got a bit of a bumpiness to it so just use a shrink tool around it or the expand to for me it sort of thins it out nicely don't know about you though it's just personal opinion it's click ok to be done so this has been a photoshop cs6 slash csc no cc on liquefying hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching